हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स परसेंटेजेस यू नो इफ यू आर गुड इन कन्वर्टिंग द परसेंटेजेस टू फ्रैक्शंस एंड मैनिपुलेटिंग दोज डेसिमल परसेंटेजेस व्हिच आर वेरी वेरी कॉमन लाइक वी हैव सम ऑफ द डेसिमल परसेंटेजेस हियर आल्सो 0.33 नाउ दैट शुड बी रियली रियली इजी फॉर यू टू क्रैक नाउ इफ यू फील दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज गिवन हियर इज डिफिकल्ट then you need to watch the complete video and i guarantee you once you watch the complete video and practice 30 40 such questions you are going to nail these questions i tell you you will be solving them in within what what time will i take to solve this question maybe around uh, 15 seconds oh 15 seconds within that time you know people start manipulating the question oh what to do with 58.33 Okay, so if you have not clicked the subscribe button, please do it now and uh, do click the bell shaped icon also so that you can keep on getting all the notifications of these useful uploads on Suresh Agarwal's mathematics shortcuts. Okay, now one request: after watching this video, if you find it useful and you are able to gather some of the smart tricks which help you in cracking these questions and uh, coming up successfully in the competitive exams. please share the video okay that is my request if you don't share it you know the knowledge which we are trying to propagate that will remain with us only so we want the world to see these videos and uh, be comfortable with these calculations uh, at whichever level they are studying whether at junior school level or middle school level or higher school level or college level or placement exams you know everywhere so let's see the first question which we have for the video here you can see there is no plus or minus sign here so question is easy so whenever there is no plus sign like here we have a plus sign here we don't have a plus sign so whenever question involves only of or multiply then the question is easy you know it's all about cancelling the common factors see how i do it now i know that this 125% Actually, is one twenty five upon hundred, which is five four. So I won't write all these things. I'm just telling you so that you can also gather these things, and you should know how to manipulate the percentages. So one twenty five percent is actually five four. So what is the question? Five four of seven six of x, right? Equals eighty four percent. 84 upon 100 of 1250. Now, how will you cancel these terms? Now, see for me, this zero is getting cancelled directly, right? And I can cancel this five two times and five 25 times. So another two cancels out this 42 times. So no denominator here now. I'm left with some denominators here. So let's see which other factors are getting cancelled. Can you see this five and the numerator here twenty five getting five times cancelled? So this five is also also gone, and seven six times is forty two. So seven also gone. Now where is the problem? We have x here. What is left on the right hand side is six times five, and we have two denominators here four and six which are left. Which I transpose to the other side, and they get multiplied here, and that will give me my final answer. So how to multiply this? That is also a skill. Five fours are twenty and thirty-six. So thirty-six times twenty gives me seven hundred and twenty as the answer for this particular question, and the option number D happens to be the correct answer. cancelling the common factors very quickly that is the key skill which is used in cracking this question now let's move on to a question where the percentages look little complicated and there is a plus sign here so i can't cancel the common factors from here to here or here right so let's see how to crack this question now when i see 58.33 there is one thing which i am scared of 58 but the other thing 0.33 makes it easier for me you know what 0.33 actually is 
So if I write it as 58 one third and convert it as a and rather improper fraction, then it will be easy for me. 58 three times is 174 plus one 175 by three. And the percentage sign here make, makes it 300, right? So if we have a percentage, it means divide by 100. Now, if I convert that to simplest form, they are getting cancelled by 25, right? So 25 7 times is 175 and 25 12 times is 300. So practically 58.33% actually is 7 upon 12. Likewise, look at this percentage, 62.5%. That's also a special percentage, you know why? Because 62.5% actually is 5 times 12.5. 12 fives are 60 and 5.5 times is 2.5, right? Now 12.5 is 1 eighth of 100. And therefore, this becomes 5 times 1 eighth which is 5 eighth. So, when you have 62.5%, it means 5 eighth. Now, I won't do it, all of these calculations, you know, in, in, a, uh, in a way I've done it here. I'll just think and I know that 58.33 is 7 upon 12 and 62.5% is 5 upon 8. Rest of it is very easy. 7 by 12 of, of means multiply 408 plus this is 5 8 so 5 8 of 360 equals 18 x right because I need to find the question mark there so I have assumed it as x so 12 does it cancel 408 12 3 times is 36 48 12 4 times is 48 and 7, 4 times is 28, 8, 2 carry means 23, 238 is the first part. Second part, 8 cancels this, 8, 4 is 32, 40 means 5. And 45 times 5, 450, half of 450 is 225. There we go. Now, where is the problem? The problem is only here, you know, when we are not able to comprehend the percentages and convert them easily to fractional forms. Now, Let's do it directly, 463, 463, right? It's like 463 upon 18 equal to x and uh, it won't divide exactly, right? So I may get a value which is very close to one of the options given here and uh, that may be the correct answer. Uh, but if none is given, you know, I need to get a correct answer, exact correct answer. So, if I divide 463 by 18, this will be 25 times is 450, right? So, somewhere around 25.7, you can check, that's my approximation, 25.7. So, if answer none is given here, I will mark none. But if none is not given here, then the approximate value is 26. So it all depends on what options are given in the question, right? Let's see another question here. Here you can see we have another percentage plus another percentage equal to something plus 758. So it all depends on how quickly you are able to find this percentage and this percentage and then it will be done. So 88% is basically 88 upon 100 of 1850, so I will manipulate this later. This is 35 upon 100, 35% 35 of 2400. This is going to be really easy because the zeros are getting cancelled. And this is x plus 758, right? Now, this is gone, this is easy. Here, one of the zeros gets cancelled 5, 2 times, and 5, 3, uh, 35, 7, 37 times. To cancel this 44 times. Now this question is actually a question of multiplication. So I have to do 44 times 37 and then I have to do 35 times 24. So this is 7 4s are 28, 8 2 carry, this is 28 and 12 40, 
and even at school level you know when you are studying in class 8 9th you need to develop these skills from that level so friends if you like this video do share it with all your friends so that they can also take benefit and practice 30 40 such questions uh, through which you will gain confidence all the best for that